hop out, already lit. I'm rolling, so watch out, watch how I spin. I said that. Boom, we back with a whole nother video again yes i know i said part two was coming but it's coming like right after this like i promise i promise i promise i use insta glue for this install so if you want to see this and you want to know how it you know how it came about just keep watching comment subscribe like post notifications share or let now let's get into it into it into it hey y'all i'm back with another video and if y'all don't know who this is, this is Faith Eb, Faith Ebony, Sister Turner, okay? And she getting a frontal wig installed today. I'm going to leave the hair in the description box because I'm really not sure about the name at this point. But it was a company that I used when I was still in college and I told her about it before I started selling hair. She got the hair and she was in love with it so i installed it for her 19th birthday and revamped it made it into a wig and styled it and everything and now it's getting installed today so as you can see uh she already had her hair blow dried cleaned and everything so the process didn't take too long it took about four hours and that's just me taking my time making sure that i you know spice it up make it look real nice you know what i'm saying so I'm just parting off her hair. I was just parted it down the middle. And I'm going to do about, I think, 10 to 12 braids in her head. Just to make sure that everything is flat and seamless. So that when she puts the wig on, it fits exactly how it's supposed to. And we don't have any lumpiness, any bumps anywhere. I know that. So, yeah. Oh, and the hair, it was an 18-inch frontal, 20-inch bundle. 22 inch bundle and 24 inch bundle so she got the bundle deals and at the time i think being that it was aliexpress it was about from 70 75 to 90 dollars like it wasn't it wasn't high at all like that is why i bought the hair because i'm like this is cheap i always look at reviews i've been buying hair for a very long time so I told her about it and to this day the hair is good and she's had the hair for Period. a while now so yeah i ended up cutting mine up that i had and messed it up like i do every wig so i started leaving my wigs alone so that i could get more time out of them so as y'all see i finished one side and i'm just braiding and i'm actually gonna skip to the part where i'm putting her cap on and um yeah so the cap was already on i just put i used the insta glue lace products i used the skin protectant and the insta glue lace glue and i just put one coat of the lace glue onto the um cap and i made sure that when i put the cap on that i wanted it to be melted like real good into her skin obviously it's gonna be some of the edges that aren't cut all the way off because i forgot my scissors so i had to use hers and um it didn't matter anyway because it was gonna get glued down but yeah so after this um y'all will actually see me swatching different makeup foundation colors last time i did her hair it wasn't as it wasn't given as much scalp as it should have been. It should have been given like straight scalp, like skin, like oh, your hair is so long type vibes. But it was given this is a frontal type vibe. And that was because I use a powder foundation. If you are reading this, well, reading. If you are listening to this and watching this and you are doing hair, do not use a powder foundation at all, okay? Okay. It will mess the whole install up even if it is the colors being that it is a powder it will end up i don't know what happened but it ended up making it look like i didn't know what i was doing so here i am using 91 percent alcohol being real real gentle on her skin because 91 percent alcohol if you rub a little too hard like it's not hard to break someone's skin so make sure you use 91 percent because it's the cleanest if they can't use alcohol use sea breeze but yeah be real gentle with it use alcohol use skin protectant and this is the hair 
I posted it on my Instagram a good while ago. We plan this install in advance by at least a month. So it was already cut to her head size. I already made this wig to her head size. Um, I've made her a couple wigs at this point. I think this is the second or third wig that I've made for her. And I already knew her head is a 22. So 22 canvas head. And this fit, when I say perfectly, perfectly. And this is just me trying to see if everything is in the right place. And yeah. She wanted the bun at first. That's why that's in there. But she ended up changing her mind. So at the end, we did a ponytail. And I didn't get the footage for that because my camera went off. Just like I didn't get the footage for the actual cap, putting the cap on. But hey, we work with what we got. You know what I'm saying? And it still came out cute. So here you see me looking at my Juvia's Place stick foundations, the um, liquid foundations, my LA Girl foundation, my flesh foundation, and I finally settled on my collab foundation. And I'm pretty sure that one was a 9.5, but I have the 9.5 and the 10. They're both just dark browns that aren't, she's a, she's a dark skin, but it's dark browns. So yeah, I have my makeup caboodle ready with my tweezers and everything in there brought my makeup brush brought my uh tray so i could see which color and this is just me swatching the color on her forehead and you can't even see that i put it on there so i'm like oh yeah this is it so as you see i'm literally putting my brush in there and there you have it scalp already all ready period sis okay so i'm real i'm being real light-handed i just sped it up but i'm being real light-handed with it and i'm making sure that i don't put too much to where it gets too dark but i'm putting enough to where it does look like a ball cap and that's what you want to do you want to just gradually make build it up just like any foundation is buildable so start with a little bit so as you can see here it's giving very much bald headed and I'm just making sure there aren't any flyaways that's going in front of the frontal and now I'm putting it back on just to see how well it matches Excuse my back fat, we didn't plan on it making a debut in the video, but it still did. Nevertheless, as you can see, I didn't even put the makeup on the frontal itself on the lace. Into the skin color. And it's looking like scalp. Straight scalp. Girl, turn your head. Y'all hear my excitement? Turn your head. The other way. I did these crimps a good month ago. And put your head down. And I only. Girl, not all. I only went over them because <laughs> I wanted them to be buzzing. Okay. Just look at that. Look at that, bro. Look at the. Look at the scalp. Stuff like this, baby, you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta keep trying some stuff like this. <laughs> like, I'm sitting here surprised myself. I noticed that people who actually do makeup more, they think they, they melt their lace easier. I've been working on my makeup more and just focusing on one thing at a time, and I've noticed that I'm getting way better at matching colors, which is a bonus when it comes to lace because for the scalpage to be apparent you have to have the right color it cannot be too dark too light it has to be close enough to where it either matches or it's slightly off to where people cannot and they can't tell so here you see me using insta glue and i put i put two thick coats so it was about the equivalent of three to four thin coats and uh insta glue comes from the hair factory it's uh the hair factory underscore on instagram 
And I actually saw an ad on there where this girl was taking it off. And the way it came off with the glue remover, I was like, oh, yeah. So I was like, why not try? Because I've tried go um i've tried ghost bun i've tried boho boho was good but i don't know i just i never bought it again but yeah insta glue is good um as y'all can see here is literally drying before our eyes it's getting clear before our eyes like it doesn't take long to dry at all and i did i used insta glue in my last video where i posted me doing my install i used insta glue and i use molent but this is a video for InstaGlue. And I also did an install on Drayla where I just used InstaGlue. She moved, sweated all day, okay? And the glue did not come off. And it was about a good week or two when I actually decided to take the glue off for her. And it was not, well, take the lace off for her and it was not coming off. Like I was sitting there spraying the, the little glue, um, what do you call it the glue remover and we had to sit there and wait to let it marinate in there because it wasn't coming off and i didn't even use a lot of layers on it so yeah it, it it's good as far as i'm concerned i have nothing bad to say about it so uh yeah we're gonna see how long fates last and get some more feedback so y'all these long sideburns is from the first time i did her frontal okay i look we gonna get it right right now y'all see it's semi customized because i didn't want to pluck it too much to where it was too far back on her hairline which was a good call to make so here you see um a, like these baby hairs they all gonna end up getting cut off i didn't end up using these even though i made those the first time I did her frontal, I left a lot on and it was really like almost on her forehead, really. But I mean, Faith could pull off anything, so it still looks cute. Like it didn't seem like it was too much. So here you see me just putting down the other side of the lace. And I just wanted to show y'all this part because I wanted y'all to see like it doesn't matter if you put it in the wrong place. You could still bring it up as long as you didn't put it down too far in there and you didn't melt it yet you should still be able to move it and when you do it you need to make sure it's in the right place don't just slap it on there and be like that's what it looked like they doing in their videos because it does look like they just putting it on there but at the same time they're being careful with where they put it where they place it you don't want glue in front of the lace a good trick that I've seen people do is outline where the lace is with, what is it called? With a white lip pencil or something like that. Like they'll just use like something with makeup that's way lighter so that they can see and make, basically make a guideline to where the lace needs to be. It needs to be behind there. The glue needs to be behind there and it makes it easier for people. Now, if you have, let's say like in my last video where I had the lace still on there, I literally just put it where my hairline was and then stuck the lace down. So once I was done, all I had to do was cut whatever lace that wasn't sticking up. Well, I had, I just, all I had to do was cut the lace that was sticking up. Everything else that was laying down, that's what stayed. And I ended up cutting uh, more afterwards, but you know, so yeah, here you have it. As you can see, it's laying flat. And I'm actually going to go back in, put some more crimps. And I used some holding spray and some spritz to make sure that I melt this lace down good. And as I said in my last video, I've been watching Slay by Jordan videos for a while. And I've always found myself skipping a step. So I think I finally got it down for the most part. I put this on top of her lace. And then once I took it off, I think I used the blow dryer. And then after that, I put it back down. And I think I put it back down before the baby hairs, just like after I melted everything and cut the rest of the lace off. So I used my Fantasia 
spritz and my Fantasia heat protectant just so that the hair would be okay. I custom colored this hair and I just love how this color came out. Like it wasn't too warm. It wasn't too cool. It was like almost a neutral and it was so pretty. Like she just wanted it an ombre because this started off as like an off black dark brown color like a natural color like every other weave that you would buy that's what it came like so i was like girl yes and she was like i don't want it all this color like she showed me the ends like the ends of her hair the color like that she showed me that somebody had their whole head like that type of honey blonde color and i was like okay say say less like i could do it for you so i went in there and i ombre it and it just came out perfect and anytime i color hair i make sure that i deep condition i treat the hair with some type of deep conditioner so that the hair won't just fall straight out and like i said i did this about a good month ago when i made her wig and then she was like I think I want my stuff to be done in October. No, September. Yeah. So I think I did at the beginning of August and I did. I just put it in like today's the first. I did this yesterday. So I did it September 30th and I had this ready since August, the beginning of August. So, yeah. So the extra hair that you saw in the bun was actually extra tracks I had left over from the wig and here i'm just showing you the finished product of me putting the hot comb to it and putting the crimps in and i'm about to do the bun over again but then she ended up changing her mind and was like can we just do a ponytail and i was like all right we can so here you see me going backwards just so that it can give that type of snatched edges look in the front people be using irons and stuff like you ain't even got to do all that you ain't got to use the clothes iron on your hair but you know just get you they say that the one that you plug into the to the wall the hot cone that you plug into the wall don't work the electric one and that you need a marcel one but baby this here gets the job done okay don't let don't let nobody fool you this is a golden hot in case you're wondering it's bomb so here you go. This is the ponytail. Okay. Good. And she was really excited about how it came out. Like, this is no filter. Okay. This is the yellow ring light. And she's like, oh my God. I was going to cut this hair. Remember, that's a 22. 20. And this is just me explaining the length of the hair. I think you did get 24. 24, 22, 20, and an 18 inch uh, frontal. Uh, frontal. Cause remember that's from that yeah, Aliexpress. Remember? I remember I had you. Uh, yeah, I had so yeah, like I said, I'm gonna tag the company down below, if any of you want to buy from them. And this is after I plucked the hair. Y'all see, I fixed the sideburns up to the point where they look ten times better. Okay, you cannot tell me I did not finesse this install. This looks like her hair. It looked like Faith got a relaxer. Faith got the middle of her hair braided and faith got a little yeah. half up half down style okay it looked like she got a custom color and she got a half up half down style okay i said shoot if we ain't know no better we would have thought it was your birthday you already know okay so the client speaks she loves the install so if you want to see more videos like this please like comment subscribe and share this video also put on your post notifications to see my videos first bye y'all yeah.